Hi, it's Katrina. From massive Viking hordes full of silver to Thracian gold of immeasurable value, here are nine amazing treasures that have been uncovered. Number 9. Roman Coins in a Cherry Orchard in July 2015, a Swiss farmer noticed something glimmering in a molehill. After noticing he had stumbled upon something of potential value, the man contacted the Regional Archaeological Service, who proceeded with a months-long excavation. Much to the farmers than everyone else's surprise, his discovery turned out to be a stash of over 4,000 gold and silver Roman-era coins, weighing in at a total of 33 pounds. Even more shockingly, the coins were in excellent condition, with some dating back to the rule of Emperor Aurelian around 274 CE. Other coins were traced to around 294 during the reign of Emperor Maximian. The hoard, which is believed to have been buried around 1,700 years ago, was hailed by the Regional Archaeological Service as one of the biggest coin hoard discoveries in Swiss history. According to coin expert Hugo Doppler, the coins were taken out of circulation shortly after being minted, as evidenced by their spectacular condition. His theory was that the owners of the coins hoarded them due to their awareness of the value of silver during economically uncertain times. Swiss archaeologist George Matter, who worked at the site, stated in an interview with Spiegel Online, as an archaeologist one rarely experiences something like this more than once in your career. Number 8. Abbey of Cluny Treasure A large collection of medieval treasure was unearthed in September 2017 during excavations at the Abbey of Cluny, a former Benedictine monastery in saône et loire France. The hoard contained 2,200 silver deniers and obols, 21 Islamic gold dinars, and various other gold objects, including a signet ring. It was the largest ever discovered cache of silver deniers, as well as the first time silver deniers, Arab gold coins, and a signet ring were discovered buried together. The silver deniers and obols were mostly minted by the Abbey of Cluny during the first half of the 12th century. The Islamic gold dinars were struck in Spain and Morocco between 1121 and 1131 during the reign of Ali ibn Yusuf. While the silver coins would have been used for everyday purposes at the time, gold coins were reserved for specialty transactions. Archaeology scholars participated in the excavation campaign as part of a research program focused on the Abbey of Cluny. Number 7. Apollonia Gold In 2012, a university student participating in an excavation of a crusader castle about 25 miles north of Tel Aviv found 108 gold coins valued in excess of $100,000. Heads of the archaeological project confirmed the discovery, which was made in Apollonia National Park. Tel Aviv University archaeology student Mati Johananov found the coins under floor tiles in one of the rooms of the fortress. It was one of the largest caches of gold ever found in Israel, weighing around 400 grams, and was uncovered as part of a joint effort between Tel Aviv University and a Nature and Parks Authority team. The excavation started three years prior as an effort to prevent the cliff that the 13th century crusader fortress stands on from collapsing. In addition to the coins, there were numerous findings offering insight into the lives of the crusaders as well as the fortress's final days. Some of the items uncovered included catapult stones and arrowheads from the battle during which the crusaders were defeated by the Mamluks. At the time, the fortress and the nearby city were under Christian rule and were one of the most important strongholds of the crusaders. Mamluk Sultan Baybars attacked the city in March of 1625 and after 40 days seized control over it. Eventually, the site was abandoned and hasn't been inhabited since. Researchers believe the treasure was buried deliberately, with the hopes of someday being retrieved. And now for number 6. But first, be sure to leave any video requests you have in the comments below with hashtag Origins or Origins Explained. And if you are new here, welcome and be sure to subscribe before you leave. Number 6. The Curedale Hoard in 1840, a work crew repairing the embankment of the Ribble River in Curedale, England, uncovered a lead box containing the largest Viking treasure trove ever found. In total, over 8,600 items were documented, including jewelry, silver ingots, and silver coins. Most of the objects were traced back to English Viking kingdoms. Some, however, originated in other regions, including Scandinavia, Italy, and Byzantium, modern-day Istanbul. The hoard was buried sometime between 905 and 910 CE, as evidenced by its coins just a few years after the Vikings were expelled from Dublin in 1902. The landowner's bailiff rewarded the workers with one coin each before presenting the hoard to Queen Victoria. Most of the treasure was eventually handed over to the British Museum, where some of it remains on display. The Curedale hoard is valued at an estimated $3.2 million, but its real cultural value is priceless. Number 5. 
The Staffordshire Award. Metal detecting enthusiast Terry Herbert made the discovery of a lifetime on a piece of freshly plowed farmland in Staffordshire, England in 2009, when he happened upon the biggest Anglo-Saxon hoard of gold and silver metalwork ever found. After digging up some 244 pieces, Herbert decided to leave the rest of the work to professionals and contacted a government official. An excavation ensued following the receipt of the landowner's permission. The stash consists of around 4,000 items, most of which are military or warlike in nature. Many of the items are sword decorations and crosses. In total, the treasure trove contains 11 pounds of gold and 3 pounds of silver. The items were probably manufactured during the 6th and 7th centuries, and the collection was most likely deposited during the 7th century. At that time, the location of the hoard's deposit was in the Anglo-Saxon kingdom of Mercia. Some of the pieces contain evidence of an established gem trade route with South India and ancient Sri Lanka. The Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery and the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery jointly purchased the trove for 3.28 million pounds. Number 4. The Sroda Treasure In June of 1985, a vase was found beneath the foundation of an old building that was being demolished in the Polish town of Sroda Slaska to make way for a local telephone exchange building. The vase contained over 3,000 Prague Groschen silver coins dating back to the 14th century. However, no serious archaeological inquiries were carried out immediately following the discovery. Even more artifacts were uncovered three years later in May of 1988, when a nearby building was being taken down. Included among the finds were a collection of jewelry, including a gold crown and a ring depicting a dragon head, some precious stones, and many more gold and silver coins. Between the two discoveries, around 3,000 artifacts were excavated. Before the site could be secured by the authorities, much of the items disappeared. The Polish government announced a plan to buy back the stolen objects and eventually launched a criminal investigation against those who refused to part with their treasures. Many items are still considered missing, but on the bright side, plenty have been recovered. Archaeologists and historians have speculated over the treasure's origins for several years, eventually concluding that the hoard originally belonged to King Charles IV of the House of Luxembourg, who pawned his precious possessions in the town around 1348 to a Jewish banker named Muschel. Today, the treasure is owned by the National Museum in Wrocław and is kept in the Regional Museum in Sroda Its estimated value is between 50 and 100 million dollars. Number 3. The Bactrian Gold The Bactrian Gold offers a unique glimpse at modern-day Afghanistan's ancient culture. It was excavated in 1978 by Russian archaeologist Viktor Saryanidi in the northern Afghan province at a site called Tilya Tepe, which translates literally to Golden Hill. The Soviet Afghan team, led by Saryanidi, ultimately uncovered 21,000 gold pieces within six burial chambers. They were dated back to the 1st century BC and were occupied by the remains of five women and one man who were nomads. Included among the treasure trove are medallions, coins, belts, a crown, and necklaces set with semi-precious gems. The hoard had laid undisturbed for 2,000 years and belonged to the Yezi royal dynasty. After going missing sometime during the 1990s, the hoard was once again brought to public attention in 2003 after being rediscovered in vaults underneath the central bank building in Kabul. The president had had them placed there for safekeeping, and only five people had the key. Upon its resurfacing, the collection was catalogued by National Geographic and was displayed in an international exhibition as the result of a joint agreement between the Afghan and French governments. Today, pieces of the collection are displayed in various museums throughout the world. Number 2. The Panagyurishte Treasure On December 8, 1949, three brothers named Pavel, Petko, and Mikhail Dekov found what they initially thought was a strange whistle while digging for clay at a ceramic factory near Panagyurishte, Bulgaria. Thinking they'd turned up some brass gypsy instruments, the brothers continued digging and found more bizarre objects. It wasn't until the arrival of Dr. Peter Gorbanov, curator of the local museum, that the brothers learned of the value of their find. Gorbanov dated the 24 karat gold items, which included a drinking horn, decanters, a vase, and a dish, back to the 3rd or 4th century, and identified them as a royal ceremonial set used by the Thracian king Suthis III. For those who are okay with not seeing the real deal, three replicas are displayed worldwide. The original, which is considered priceless, is located at the National Museum of History in Sofia, where it's the centerpiece of the Thracian art collection. Number 1. The Spillings Hoard In July 1999, a team of reporters from Swedish television went out to Spilling Farm on the island of Gotland in Sweden. They were out filming a segment on the problem of looting in archaeological sites with several archaeologists. 
Previously, the owner of the farm, Bjorn Engstrom, had found about 150 silver coins and bronze objects. While this is pretty cool, it's nothing compared to what happened next. The film crew followed everyone around for a while and then wrapped up their filming. When they left, the archaeologists continued surveying the land, and 20 minutes later, they found the world's largest Viking silver treasure thanks to a metal detector. It consisted of 67 kilograms of silver, including 14,295 coins, mostly Islamic, bars, wires, ring money, and jewelry consisting of rings, bangles, and pendants, and all kinds of other stuff. But wait, there's more. Later, they found 20 kilograms of bronze scrap metal to use for smelting. Surprisingly, this was considered even more valuable because there have been very few finds containing large amounts of bronze like this for smelting. Thanks for watching! I'm inspired to go out looking in my backyard now. Anybody else? Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!